What's going on, lads? Back at the desk. Well, it's done. I just finished it up. What a pain in the ass. You guys ever run across this kit? And you're thinking of buying it? Please contact me. This is probably one of the worst models I ever paid for in my life. This thing was horrendous. I never had so many... I have never used so much putty and epoxy and CA glue on a model since I've been building models. Uh, it's just an inordinate amount of putty. The fit on this thing was just atrocious. Nothing fit. I still have fit problems. I could not, and you'll see it. I was too afraid of puttying around the cockpit, the canopy. Because it took me so long and it was so hard to get that thing in there to fit right. Well, it, and it don't fit right. It's still off on one side. But I was too afraid that if I puttied it, and I started sanding and shaping it and everything that the goddamn thing would pop out. So I left it. Other than that, it come out better than I thought it was gonna come out. Especially with all the fit problems. So, without further ado, here is the AC-130. Um, overall not bad if you guys saw some of the gaps that were in this thing um, I'm pretty happy with the way it come out uh, I'm gonna put it upstairs probably after I get done with this video and maybe I'll do a little video of it hanging up and the other airplanes I have but uh, you can see the uh, hang on guys You can see the canopy right there, and then I got a piece over here in the front, right here. But uh, I mean, it fit pretty good on the other side here in the top. But it, this thing, I mean, I had everything but a, but to come along on it to try to get it to fit, and like I said, I was just too afraid. That if I puttied it, once I started sanding, this thing was going to go sprawling, and then I'd be back to square one. So I left it. I'm the only one who's going to see it. I can live with it. Uh, like I said, compared to the rest of the model, and all the crap that I had to do to this thing, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out, to be honest with you. Um, so, we'll give it every once around. It's, it's huge. This thing is a huge plane, man. Very, very big. Very, very big. But, uh... Yeah, like I said, I'm happy with it. You can see all the, the guns. I'll give you a... I can pick it up without uh, snapping anything. Show you the guns. There you go, guys. 25 millimeter Gatlin gun up front there. And then we got the 40 millimeter boat boards. And the 105 howitzer. But, like I said, all the work I had to do to this thing, this is video 13. I think this beat the Triumph by one video. That was another... The last two big kits I've gotten have just been... Terrible. Terrible. But... Yeah, what are you gonna do? That's what I guess that's the fun part about it is... You never know when you open that box, you never know what's gonna be on the inside. You never know. That's I guess that's part of the... Part of the fun of it, I guess. But 
But yeah, so like I said, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. What do you think, Derek? What do you think, buddy? Let me know. Not bad. Uh, like I said, I just, I really think that they, that they threw this kit together real quick. Uh, I wish they would have taken some time and thought about it and made a, made a halfway decent model kit, but for ninety dollars, man, should have fit a lot better. It, it should look a lot, fit a lot better than it should have. And yes, I tried to make the paint faded in places. Uh, I'm not good at that stuff, but I keep trying though, but no. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Like I said, if you'd seen all the the green putty and stuff that was on it, I'm I'm surprised it came out as good as this uh, as good as this. So but it'll be hanging upstairs shortly. I'll uh do a little video of that when I get done. So, enjoy your day, boys. Nice up here today. 70 degrees, no humidity. Nice breeze out there. Oh, well, there it is, the AC-130 gunship. Peace out, boys.